a light drone flying outside in the wind with a controller with a return to home button will give new flyers a false sense of safety. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. DJI made an announcement a few days ago that the Mavic Mini is coming out on October 30, 30th at 9 a.m. Eastern Time or uh, that would be 6 a.m. Pacific Coast or 3 p.m. in Europe and late evening in Asia. There are three things I want to talk about today. I want to talk very briefly about implication with the regulations. Uh, I have a weight scale here, so I want to talk about the weight. And I have my fan here, so yes, I'm going to talk about the wind. So first of all, very briefly, uh, people are all like super happy uh, this new Mavic Mini is supposed to be below 250 grams, 250, and that's the limit in most countries for licensing, registration. Uh, in Canada, we have to have a test, a licensed pilot. So it's not all that like good because re regulation is clear. Even below 250 grams, you need to fly safely and responsibly. If you fly crazy around people, if you fly uh, close to an airport, you will still get fined and possibly even prison. So you still need to be careful even below 250 grams. Now about let's talk about weight. Um, I don't know if you saw a few releases from different websites uh, and also on Instagram but um, the weight below 250 and also flight time of 15 minutes. Uh, a lot of small drones fly only for 7, 7 to 9 minutes. So I want to do something now. I want to show you something. I have here the Tello and I did a few videos about the DJI Rise Tello. So the Tello weight is about 90 grams. I have also the Parrot Mambo, and I did a video on that, excellent drone, very, very nice drone. So I put, if I put the, the Parrot on top of the Tello, I am at 154. So remember, the battery in the Tello is very small, it's about this, this big. Now I have here my Gorilla Glue, okay, that would be about the size of a battery in a Mavic Mini, and about the weight. So just want to show you something here. This is 200 and 35 grams okay we're very close to 250 so this is what we will have in terms of in terms of material in a Mavic Mini okay and all this fly 15 minutes and have a mechanical gimbal that's impressive if the the rumors are true and the leaks are true this will be really impressive i'm just like cautious about the thing here i don't want this mavic mini to be like a cheap drone made of cheap and light plastic because then you might as well buy a 50 dollars drone from china for example so i hope they will use like titanium like my um, phantom 4 pro has magnesium uh, frame here so to keep the weight low so i hope that dgi will come up with some good materials so that we don't have like you know feel that we have a cheap drone also the um the challenge and let me just show you here i'm going to remove the battery in my tello just to show you this flies for about seven minutes okay and it's a light drone the battery will have to be much bigger in a Mavic Mini. So I wasn't sure about the weight. When I saw the leaks below 250 with a mechanical gimbal, that didn't make sense to me uh, because DJI res recently released the Osmo uh, action camera with what they called rock steady electronic image stabilization. And Parrot had that. I did video last year, a few videos last year. I did not have my Phantom 4 Pro. I was flying my Beep Up 2 Power. Excellent drone, and as you can see, it has a lens only. There is no gimbal on this drone. So no gimbal means two things, lightweight 
and also uh, kind of crash proof if you crash this unless you're very unlucky, unlucky and damage the lens there is nothing to damage in front of the drone uh, if you have a spark which I don't have here to show you if you crash a spark nose down you will damage the uh, the gimbal so I thought that DJI to save on weight would come up with that's still my belief with a Mavic Mini without a mechanical uh, gimbal and use their rock study technology which is amazing in the Osmo action camera and they would use that so we'll see uh, in in a few days my last comment and I told you about my fan uh, let me here just put this over here let's turn the fan on and let's make sure we have enough wind let's do a test oh yeah we have enough wind so I'm going to turn it off actually it's a bit noisy now I'm going to bet with you guys and you can keep this video I ask Quay. it's going to be on YouTube anyway but put keep a link or something I bet you a thousand dollars that people will run into trouble and DJI will have to come up with something I hope they will be clear about that a lot of people are going to buy the Mavic Mini because it will be cheaper and I'll talk about pricing to remind me I'll put my game sir controller right here I want to talk about pricing at the very end so lots of people are going to buy this new drone because it's going to be cheaper lighter no need for a license or no need to register with the FAA uh, in the US or transport Canada in Canada so what's going to happen a drone that weighs the equivalent of this okay is very light so people are going to fly the drone, newbies, and they won't think about the wind. First of all, you won't be able to fly this drone in a 30 km per hour wind, which I do all the time with my uh, P4 Pro, and also even with my Beep Up 2 Power. So people are going to take, I'm going to take the parrot, they're going to fly the drone, they will forget that, or they'll realize that the wind is behind them, the drone will go away, and they will feel comfortable they will feel safe you know why because on the controller they will have a button that says return to home and the newbies will think about the possibility of your drone being far away and then you hit the return home and then the drone is fighting the wind fighting the wind fighting the wind until the battery dies it's 100 feet up in the air the wind is still blowing the drone away by half a kilometer they will lose the drone or if they're close to water they will lose the drone in the water this is going to happen because a lot of newbies no experience are going to fly a light drone with GPS probably and a return to home so it will give them a false sense of, of security or, or comfort okay so the return home won't work because of the wind and the light and the, the weight the light weight of the drone now let's talk about the pricing according to the leaks the Mavic Mini will be around $399 so $399 in my book is $400 so let's say $400 US okay but uh, this is controlling the drone with your phone apparently it will be possible but that's very difficult I did that on my channel and I don't recommend it so by the time you add a controller and I'm only guessing that the controller will probably be around $100 so we are now at $500 US and because it's a nice drone uh, you may want to go some places bicycle or by car you should have two batteries because only one for 15 minutes it's not really enough so a second battery probably $50 maybe even more so we are at $500 and fifty dollars US like I said at the beginning for that price I hope it will be a nice built drone and not something made of cheap plastic because at 550 US for cheaper you can get a Hubson Zeno Pro that I pre presented a couple of weeks ago or the Xiaomi Fimi X8 mechanical gimbal uh, 4k uh, long flight time so I'm not sure which one I would buy if this is 550 US so we'll have to see 
So uh, thank you guys for watching. And as always, if you have any questions, put them down below. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day and stay flying. Goodbye, guys.